Okay, let's try let's try the second uh, mechanism. It says for the following reaction, write a complete mechanism which adequately accounts for the formation of the products. Show all intermediates and curved arrows just like a normal mechanism. Okay, but it also gives you the reactant. And I know it has a little circle there, but I like to actually point out the um, double bonds in the benzene ring. And then, what does it say? Does it give us, yeah, a reagent, but it doesn't give us a product. Okay? So when we do this, if we're doing a mechanism, we erase that business and write out the reagent so we can, um, we can use them, uh, bond, bond line form. And we also put our double bonds and our lone pairs of electrons. Because remember, our double bonds and lone pairs of electrons, uh, those are going to be your nucleophiles, OK? So our bases, in this case. So the first step, HBr. What is HBr? What type of molecule? Strong acid. acid, a very strong acid. So if you have a strong acid, the first step is always going to be a what? Acid base reaction. Very good. Okay? Like that. Okay, that's your first step. Right, they're going to happen on an sp3 hybridized uh, carbon atom. Okay, so if we look here, hopefully you can tell that one's sp3 hybridized. Right, what about this one? Anybody? Say it louder. I, mean, I can't really hear. Sp2. It. Sp2. Right. Okay. So everybody should be blasting me out of the wall with telling me what the hybridization. Is. So since the SN2 ha happens at an SP3 hybridized, you're going to get two organic products from this. So phenol and bromomethane. Okay. Any questions on that? This here, this reaction, SN2. Okay. Nucleophile electrophile, acid base. That's every step. It's going to be either acid base or nucleophile electrophile. Okay. Any questions? Speak now. I ain't taking questions afterwards. <laughs> 